Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for The Violent Issue 3. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 136, and that show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are the, uh, the exclusive comics. We have Vampirella, Issue 1, Old Man Logan, Issue 3, Green Lantern, Issue 50, Batman and Robin Eternal, Issue 22, Tomboy, Issue 4, Tales of Terror, Volume 2, Issue 5, Discipline, Issue 1, Revival, Issue 37, Injustice Gods Among Us, Year 5, Issue 5, A-Force, Issue 3, Invincible Iron Man, Issue 7, and Nova, Issue 5. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, Episode 136, which is annotated. But let's start talking about The Violent, Issue 3, a new image title that I have been really enjoying and every month really look look forward to seeing what will happen next. Uh, so let's see what's going on with this issue. So uh, we got a very cool cover, dead body, dog on the cover, which definitely uh, fits the the story for uh, for this issue because there is a dead body and that's uh, something that the story surrounds itself by um, with our main character. So very cool artwork, really like the colors on both the back and front uh, for the cover. Uh, and let's start talking about the artwork itself. Um, really like the, the tone of this book artwork wise. Uh, I like that it's a bit gritty. It's not um, so clean the artwork, but definitely on purpose because it's such a gritty uh, storytelling. Uh, like the shading they do, I think is really perfect. It's not too dark. And I, like I said, I think if it's a tone of where the series is going and uh, the story that this this series is trying to tell. So really, really well done artwork here. Uh, let's see what's going on in story though. So with this issue, um, we actually get to see our main character's wife again uh, because she's been missing since last issue and we find out where she was. She did take the drugs in the first issue and she overdosed. And the reason that the police couldn't find her is because she was a Jane Doe until they found out who she actually was. So our main character obviously, you know, rushes to the hospital to try to figure out what's going on with um, his wife. And, and uh, we get to see that he, you know, he's definitely wrapping his mind uh, around what happened in the last issue. They killed somebody. Uh, and he knows he screwed up and you know Becky who's the wife is like I screwed up you know I screwed up and I feel so bad and then she finds out where's my daughter uh, and, and Mason our main character just doesn't want to tell her what happened and that's all his fault uh, and it seems like he's kind of digging digging himself deeper and deeper into this ditch especially in this episode uh, in this uh, in this issue. So, yeah, it's definitely um, a bit more with Becky, which was great, uh, and her even interacting with her mother and, uh, and really trying to get her daughter back. Uh, and then Mason, again, our main character, dealing with um, killing someone and, and talk to, talking to his best friend, because uh, really that's the only person that knows, and in the end, digs, uh, digs himself even deeper into this mess by, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't read it, um, killing his best friend. Uh, that's what ends up happening in the end because he knows if his his friend's not really strong enough to keep the secret because uh, he keeps saying I, I need to tell I need you know they'll understand it was a mistake and Mason is kind of doing this for his family uh, because he knows if if they know he'll go to jail or you know he will never see his daughter again so he he kills his best friend uh, and again digs himself deeper into this uh, this ditch that he's already dug himself in from from issue one and issue two. Uh, so what did I think of this issue? I thought this was an amazing issue. Uh, really love the character building in, in this issue. Not just for Mason, uh, which I'll get to, but also for Becky. You know, Becky making that, again, not seeing Becky from last issue, but her feeling so guilty about, um, you know, taking drugs again and saying, you know, I was so good. Um, how about our daughter? And I, I love how Mason kind of takes it too, saying, you know, she was always the good one. You know, she always wanted to have her life straight. And it was me who always messed up. So you're seeing, you know, these two people who love each other and uh, have, you know, faults in their lives. And, and they're trying to fix it. And sometimes when you try to fix things, 
they don't get fixed and that's really the point of this story um, and what I love about this story and really seen in this issue is it's a making of a villain in a lot of ways but you see Mason from the first issue that he is this good guy who just wants to do right to his wife and to his daughter and and because he wants to do right to them he does the wrong things and he's already killed two people because of it um, but it's not because he's like a serial killer he's just this guy who's made a lot of obviously bad choices uh, and it's really interesting to see how they unfold and I feel like this is a very unique title that I just I haven't seen in comics in a long time how realistic this title is and like I said it's not a villain trying to be a villain for the sake of being a villain or you know or for the sake of being a bad guy it's this guy who wants to be good um, for his family but because of that you know like I said he made the the wrong decisions uh, it, this was such a great character profile on, again, both Becky and Mason. It was just an amazing issue with a lot of twists and turns, which is what I loved about the the first issue, and that was my pick of the week uh, when that came out. And the reason why issue three is my pick of the week, and I give this a perfect five stars. I really did not find any faults, and it kept me on the edge of my seat and really making me care about these characters and, and the situation. If you guys aren't reading The Violent, it's such a great book that I really think more people should be reading. So The Violent issue, three gets uh, five stars for me and that was definitely my pick of the week so hopefully you guys enjoyed this is comic you know don't forget to follow me on twitter don't forget to like my facebook page also in the description below these links from my comic book like father like daughter and don't forget to like the facebook page of like father like daughter i'll see you guys later